Hi students, welcome to our channel Math Logic. In today's video, we will be covering or uh, revising the chapter Linear Equation for Class 10 and we will be covering it extensively all the concepts and uh, we will be taking giving taking uh, questions from previous question and papers which are very very difficult or where many students committed mistakes. Uh, so those questions we have been included in this video. So please watch till the end and uh, you will be very confident to face the board exam. So let's see. First is how to solve a pair of a linear equation. You can do it in two ways. One is graphical method, another is algebraical method. In algebraical method, again, you have two subdivisions. One is by substitution method, and is by elimination method. So how to solve it graphically? For that, uh, no, we have an example. We have got two equations. One is y is equal to x plus 4, and another is x plus y is equal to 10. Whenever you have to uh, solve a pair of uh, equation graphically, you always take... Uh, the variable x in terms of y for uh, ease of uh, uh, substituting or putting values. So here well, they are given as y is equal to x plus 4, that's fine. In this case, uh, x plus y you rewrite it as y is equal to 10 minus x. So you know, this is the actually uh, table which contains coordinates for plotting the graph. So how do you do it, create this graph? So always first put uh, x is equal to 0 so that you will get the y intercept. See, you put x is equal to 0, y is equal to 4. x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 10. One, what is the use of getting y intercept? Because you, it will uh, help you or assist you to draw the graph accurately because you have one, um, one axis there. No, it intercepts one axis. So always make it, this is a thumb rule. And another is, next two points, you take a maximum of four points, three or four, the, as per your convenience. The one point should necessarily be zero. And uh, make the numbers as, as small, like 1, 2, 3, 2, 4, 5, so that your number will not, our uh, length of the line uh, graph will not be very long. So what we do next is just to plot it. So 0, 4, no coordinates, 0, 4, this, this is one coordinate, 2, 5, and uh, 3, 7, like that. No, this is for equation y is equal to x plus 4. Similarly, plot it for y is equal to x minus 10, and you get a point of intersection. No? This is uh, your solution. It is as simple as that. So where, what is this? This is x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 7. So this is your solution. That's all. Point of intersection is your solution. Then uh, let's see how to solve it uh, algebraically using substitution method. Substitution method is nothing but you write one variable in terms of other. For example, you have y is equal to x plus 4 and y is equal to 10 minus x. Because in solve, what do you mean by solving? Solving is you want to find the point of intersection. See, therefore, for that point, the values will be equal. So you can see y is equal to x plus 4. Now you see x plus 4 is equal to uh, 10 minus x. See here, right now, x plus 4 is equal to 10 minus x. So these three, we make this thing equal. And we get x is equal to 3. When x is 3, y is equal to x plus 4, which is 7. So, you just understand, no? When you solve means, solving means at that particular uh, point, the both the uh, equation will be saving, having same uh, value for both the variables x and y. That's why you are able to equate. So, elimination method. Next is elimination method. You In elimination method, you have to write the equation in the form of x plus y is equal to c. So here, uh, given as uh, y is equal to x plus 4, you write it as x minus y is equal to minus 4. Second division is given as x plus y is equal to 10 only. So you just see what happens. You add this thing, you know, you get a y disappears. So y is eliminated, no? eliminated. That's why it's called elimination method. Y is eliminated and you got 2x is equal to 3, x is 3 and y is 4. Y is 7. So next concept is, uh, this is a very, very important concept. Lots of questions come from this. This concept is, uh, they ask, you know, how many solutions given pair of equations have? Are they having unique solution? Unique means one solution only. One solution or infinitely many solutions or no solutions. And based on that, you have to test whether the equations or the system of equation are consistent or inconsistent. So, see, actually, when you test this you know, regarding solution or consistency, Always write the equation in the form of ax plus b1, by plus c, b equal to c. This is very, very important. Don't write in any other form because these uh, conditions will be altered or you'll get a wrong answer due to that. So if uh, a1 over a2 is not equal to b1 over b2, you say that a solution is only one or unique solution and the equation has set to be consistent. This is one. 
and the next uh, condition is if a1 over a2 is equal to b1 over b2 and that is not equal to c1 over, over c2 we say the lines are parallel and no solution exists and the equations are inconsistent see these are the lines no? l1 and l2 so a1 and a, a1 is uh, over a2 is equal to b1 over, over b2 so but uh, that it is not equal to c1 over c2 so, because c is the y intercept or you can see the constant so in this case, if uh, this condition is there, then the, there is no solution and the equations are inconsistent because they were, there won't be any point of intersection. Now, unless they meet, there won't be any solution. Therefore, the, the lines are parallel. So next one is A1 over A2 is equal to B1 over B2, which is equal to C1 over C2. If this condition is there, the lines are said to be coincident. Mean that you, you can see, you know, uh, they can share many uh, possible solutions, infinitely many solutions. And the equations are also consistent. Only when they are parallel, they are actually not uh, said to be in, uh, consistent, they are inconsistent. So, just let's practice few problems on this because lots of problems from appear in this, either in 2 marks or in 3 marks. And let's see, for example, given x, kx plus y is equal to 3 and x, x plus 2y is equal to k, find the value of k for which no solution exists. So you just write down no, the coefficient of uh, x and y as a1, a2, b1, b2 and the constant as uh, c1, c2, we get this. So we don't know k, okay, so for what value you have to find out? For no solution, uh, it means a1 over a2 is equal to b1 over b2 and should not be equal to c1 over c2. So we have k over 6 is equal to half, it means plus k is equal to 3. So substitute the value of k is equal to 3 in uh, a1 and c2, we get a uh, 3 over 6 is equal to 1 by 2, of course it is correct, and this is not equal to 3 over 3, which is 1. Therefore, for the value of k is equal to 3, the given equation has no solution. That's how you should approach. So, next is, uh, next example you will see, 2x plus 3y is equal to 11, and 3x minus 4y is equal to minus 24. What you will do, you will try to eliminate, just see if you subtract 1, uh, uh, 1 from uh, 2 from 1, for example, 2 from 1, see 2x minus 2x, they, they get cancelled and uh, minus 4y will become 7y and minus 24 will become plus 24. So, 7y is equal to 35 and y is equal to 5, we get y is equal to 5 and substitute this. Uh, we have to find now that uh, m for which y is equal to mx plus uh, 3. When y is uh, 5, you have 5 is equal to m into x is minus 2 into 3. It gives you x m is equal to minus 1. It's a very simple one. The only thing is you should uh, write it in the proper form and do it. So next is uh, another question. 32x plus 33y is equal to 34. And uh, 33x plus 32y is equal to 31. Find x and y. You can do it. No? See, just closely look. 32 plus 33 is 65. 33 plus 32 is 65. 34 plus 31 is also 65. Just add both the equation you get. Uh, 65x plus 65y is equal to 65 or the 65 by being common, take it uh, outside, 65 into x plus y is equal to 65. This gives us x plus y is equal to 1. That is x plus y is equal to 65 over 65, which is equal to 1. Similarly, you just uh, subtract 1 from 2, you get the minus x plus y is equal to 3. And by elimination, now by adding these two, you eliminate x. So, eliminate x. Eliminate x. Uh, you get uh, y is equal to 2y is equal to 4 and y is equal to 2. Then automatically you just uh, have x is equal to 1 by substituting it here. And fine. So for which values of p, this is a very, very beautiful question. For which values of p, it's actually uh, appeared in 2020, I think, board exam. For which value of p, the lines are represented by 3x minus 5 is equal to 0 and 6x minus 2y minus p is equal to 0. See, we be very, very careful. Always when you are using the conditions for a parallel or a unique solution, write them in the form of Ax plus By is equal to C. Many students in our online mentoring class, just uh, in, despite repeatedly telling, they are writing this, uh, they C, C is equal to minus Y. It is not so, C is equal to 5 or C1 is equal to 5. C1 is not equal to minus 5. So, first write it in the proper form. 3x minus 5 is equal to 5. 6x six, six minus 2y is equal to p, then you will get the correct answer. So, a1 coefficient of x and y and constant you write. And now you see, we here is a very, very tricky part. See, a1 over a2 is equal to b1 over b2, which is not equal to c1 over c2. We have 3 over 6 is equal to minus 1 over minus 2, which is not equal to, or which should not be equal to 5 over p. 
it implies half is not equal to 5 over p or p is not equal to or should not be equal to 10. p is not equal to for this case. So, this is not your answer. It is a condition. Condition, no? this is not the final answer. Final answer is for all values of p except when p is equal to 10, the given lines are parallel. This is the answer. So, many students actually they stop here. p is equal to 10, is not equal to 10. That is not the answer. When p is x is equal to 10 except that uh, particular uh, value the given lines are parallel for all other value for in fact you can they can say all the real values so we we'll, let's not go in very detail with the real other and real, just write for board exam no for all values of p when it's equal to x for except for all values of p the lines are parallel now let's uh, see few questions on, uh, from previous years uh, board exams so, one, one question goes like this. In a triangle ABC, angle A is equal to X, angle B is equal to 3X minus 2, and angle C is equal to Y. Also, C minus B is equal to 90. Find the largest and smallest uh, angle uh, angle, uh, angle of triangle ABC. So, we have, when we know angle, all the three angles, uh, angle ABC, three angles of a triangle sum up to 180 degrees. So, you have x degree plus 3x minus 2 degrees, this A and this is B and this is C, adds up to 180 and you just uh, keep uh, con variables and place constant in one place. Uh, we have 4x plus 5 is equal to 182 and we also have angle C minus B is equal to N or we have angle C is Y and angle B is 3x minus 2. Therefore, we have minus 3x plus Y is equal to 7. So, solving this uh, 1 and 2, we get x is equal to 25 degrees which is equal to angle A. When uh, x is 25 degrees, we, angle B is equal to 3x minus 2, we get uh, angle B as 73 and angle C as 82. So, the, the sum of the largest and smallest angle of ABC is, uh, this is not AC, this is C plus A because C is the largest and uh, A is the smallest. This is equal to 82 degree plus 25 degrees which is equal to 107. This is not, no, this is not correct. Though, though it is not, uh, final answer is okay, but largest smaller, no, get interchange, we should be cautious in that also. And next problem is a very, very, very important and may, almost all the students have committed mistakes in our pre-board exam. The sum of a two-digit number and the number obtained by reversing the digits is 66. If the digits of the number differ by two, find the number. So, up to this, everybody writes, oh, let the digits be x, y. Fine, very good. The num so, they also write the number b x, y. When reversing, it will be x plus y, 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 x. So, x, y plus y, x is equal to 66. It is totally wrong, totally wrong. Never do like this, no? For example, you take the number 75. How it gets value? If 7 is in the 10th place, you know? So, 7 into 10 plus 5 only is equal to 75. So, 7 plus 5 is equal to 10, 12 only, no? Uh, it is not equal to 75. So, be very careful. So, therefore, write the num uh, now the two digit number is x, y means is the one digit is x, another digit is y means the value of the number is 10x plus y. If you reverse, it will become 10y plus x. If you add those things, you get 10x plus y plus 10y plus x is equal to 64. We get x plus y is equal to 6. And another is also very tricky. The number divided by 2. They don't say whether x minus y is equal to 2 or y minus x is equal to 2. We get uh, x minus, therefore we keep both options open, either x minus y is equal to 2 or y minus x is equal to 2. You know x plus y is 6 in both the cases. It gives us x is equal to 4. When x is 4, y is equal to 2. When y is 4, x is equal to 2. Therefore, the number is 42 if x is greater than y or 24 if y is greater than x. So, the number is 42 or 24. So, how nice it is, no? Very intelligent and tricky. Even if you make no, x minus y is equal to 2, that's only half of the question. You should uh, have both options. So, question number 3. In this, you will learn a lot of concepts. See, a boat covers 16 km upstream and 24 km downstream in 6 hours. At the same time, it covers a distance of 12 km upstream and 36 km downstream. Find the speed of the stream and speed of the boat in still water. See, let's say the speed of the boat be x and the steam boat, speed of the steam be y. This is okay. But obviously, x is greater than y. That is, speed of the boat should is or should be greater than the speed of the stream. Because if the speed of the boat is equal to stream, it will not move. If it is less than the speed of the stream, it will go along with the stream. So, it cannot reach the destination it wants. Therefore, 
when the speed of the boat it should we keep the speed of the boat more than the speed of the steam therefore we have x is greater than y therefore we have the speed of the boat of steam is against the steam so it will reduce the speed of the uh, boat to the extent of the speed of the steam therefore we have speed of the boat is equal to x minus y don't put that y minus x at times people uh, students mistake uh, uh, do mistake like putting y minus x always but the speed of the boat should be more than the speed of the steam otherwise it cannot move the speed of the boat downstream is uh, speed of the boat plus speed of the steam x plus y so you know the time taken is distance by speed so we here they given the speed as, as a, dis, a time as 6 hours and uh, it traveled 16 kilometers uh, up, upstream so upstream is x minus y 24 kilometers downstream that is x plus y is equal to 6 similarly 12 kilometers 36 kilometers here only you also only i just want to tell you see you see 20, 16 by x minus y you can write it as 1, 1 by x minus y into 16 or into uh, 16 similarly 24 by x plus y you can write it as 24 into 1 by x plus y why i am saying is we can simplify it for the and you can solve it faster so let us say 1 by x minus y is a and 1 by x plus y as b you can say 16a plus 24b is equal to 6 and uh, you got two linear equation and since both are equal to 6 you can equate this 16a plus 24b is equal to 12a plus 36b you get a in terms of b a is equal to 3b so also we have b is equal to 3a uh, a by 3 that also you write so substitute a is equal to 3b in equation 1 we get uh, 48a plus 24b is equal to 6 and uh, our 72b is equal to 6 or b is equal to 6 by 72 so what is uh, 6 by 72 is 1 by 2 what is uh, one uh, b b is nothing but 1 by x plus y you define na 1 by x plus y is b therefore 1 by 12 is equal to 1 by x plus y this implies x plus y is equal to 12 similarly now substitute b is equal to a by 3 na so we get a is equal to 1 by 4 which is equal to 1 by x minus y therefore x minus y is equal to 4 Now we will solve x plus y is equal to 12, x minus y is equal to 4, we got x is equal to 8, that is speed of the boat in still water and y is equal to 4 is the speed of the stream. This is 8 km per hour, this is 4 km per hour. Hope you have enjoyed the video. Revise uh, all your uh, uh, problems now, just with reference to this video. Any doubt, you can refer the video. Still you have any doubt, just uh, leave us in the comment. We will be ready to assist you. And best wishes students, start preparing well. Have a good day. Thank you.